Hi everyone. Happy Thursday. Happy Halloween weekend. Oh my goodness. Are you having fun yet? How many fall festivals have you been to so far? <laughs> we have um, the fall festival at our elementary school that we've gone to every year since TJ was in pre-K. Of course, we've been to three different elementary schools because our district keeps growing and building more schools. So we've had the pleasure of being at three of the new, the, the new, like the three newest elementary schools in our district since TJ started pre-K. And now Luke has one year left. This is his fourth grade year, and then he'll be in fifth grade next year. So this is our second to last one um, at the elementary school. He's been so excited, looking forward to it all week long. So I'm gonna do the Plum Enchanted look for my makeup today. And I thought I would just show you all how I do it because I've been posting, if you are one of my Facebook friends, especially, you've seen me posting some of these fun looks that they put together. And I really enjoyed it because honestly, I'm a creature of habit, like most everybody else. I know some of y'all are like makeup goddesses. I'm really not. Um, I tend to wear the same colors all the time. So it's been very fun to try new looks and put colors together that I wouldn't normally put together. So the first thing that I did was put on our eye primer. Now this is actually being discontinued. So if you're like me and you really love our eye primer, I encourage you to get a couple of tubes. A tube does last a long time, lasts like a year, even when I use it every day. Um, but I've been hearing everyone say that just using the concealer works great. So I've done that a few times and have really been blown away that just using my concealer as my eye primer has worked really, really well. So fear not, those of you I may, eye primer lovers like me, um, that does work, but I encourage you to get them while you can. I know I have like four maybe left in my inventory. So I'm trying to decide if I want to set them aside for myself or be willing to share. So let me know if you need an eye primer. Um, okay, so the Plum Enchanted look, I went ahead and I took my palette and I did the four colors that I'm going to be using today. And let me look at my phone because I pulled up the, uh, the picture. So I'll be posting the picture for you with this. But it's Crystalline, Cashmere Haze, Sweet Plum, and Merlot. And I tend to go do the darkest shade first because that does help with the look really just being vibrant and making sure that I get all of the colors onto that primer or concealer, whatever you're using, so that it doesn't just turn into one big blob of color on my eyes. And then if any of my eyeshadow kind of would fade off, like if you do your whole lid in just the lightest shade and then you're putting your darker ones over it, you might notice that by the end of the day, um, the color, a lot, some of the color is gone. And that's because the lighter shade covered everything that's really there. That's like the glue to hold it on. So I'm going to do the Merlot first. That's the dark matte, like purpley Merlot color, hence the name. And I'm going to do just a little bit on that corner of my eye. And I just stay within this boundary of the corner of my eye to the edge of my eyebrow. And I do like a sideways V like that. Okay. So that's just going to give a little bit of the drama. Now that looks scary, right? I think people are afraid of color because when you first put it on, it's kind of like a paint by numbers. It's not the complete look. So don't be scared. And you'll notice that I carry it high up above the crease of my eye so that when my eye is open, you're still going to see some of that color. And the crease brush is perfect for this because see how it has that pointy tip. So it really helps me to get it where I want it to go and to create that little sideways V there. All right, so I'm gonna do that, okay. And then I'm not symmetrical and I'm not an artist. So sometimes it takes me a little while just to make sure that where I'm placing it see <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror there I'm looking on the screen here and I'm looking in the mirror here but you really want to look straight up and straight ahead because that's how you can tell like oh yeah that's those are not symmetrical at all and it might even be a little bit symmetrical but then when I open my eyes like when I close my eyes it looks fine but then when I open my eyes my my eyes don't open perfectly symmetrically so 
sometimes I have to kind of cheat it a little bit. And one eye is always easier than the other. Have you found that? Okay, so what's easier? What always goes right, your left eye or your right eye? I feel like for me, my right eye is a little bit easier. I think it's because my left one is a little bit more hooded. So then I have to go back and kind of try to get them <laughs> matching, which is already hard to do, let alone trying to do it into a computer screen. Okay, so there's that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. My mama always said, you'll never notice it on a galloping horse. Have you heard that phrase? So that just means like, you don't need to sweat the small stuff. You're moving, your eyes are opening, they're closing. You're not symmetrical anyway. It's it's fine. It, it I, I really don't stress too much. I do try to make it symmetrical so it doesn't look weird, but I don't stress too much about perfection. Now I'm doing the Sweet Plum, which is a shimmery purple. It's very pretty. I'm going to carry it a little bit higher. Now, if this scares you to have this much color and just wait, because when it's all said and done and it's all blended, yes, it's a dramatic evening look, but it doesn't look nearly as scary as it does when you're first putting it on. So I'm going to carry that shimmer here a little bit. And I'm just doing it over the top of the Merlot, but I'm carrying it in a little bit further and I'm doing like a kind of a sideways swoosh this way, like a windshield wiper. And I'm carrying it up to almost the arch of my brow. So if this scares you, you could do the haze color up here instead. That would be a much softer, less dramatic look. I think my lighting, I think it's my lighting that's throwing me off too, because it looks totally different when I look in the computer than when I'm doing it. <laughs> in my mirror with a little bit more direct light. I don't know why that looks so weird. And you know, makeup, it's not a tattoo. This is not forever. You can totally play with color and not be afraid because you're not, you're not marrying it and you're not getting it tattooed. Now I'm doing the lightest shade. I'm actually skipping that cashmere haze. I'm doing the lightest shade and I'm putting it into the corner right here because it's this bright crystalline. And I'm doing it along this lower part of my lid to just make it pop. But yeah, you could absolutely do the cashmere haze as that mid-tone color. So all this purple would just be more of a soft gray instead. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this here. So what, comment here and tell me, what are you going as for Halloween? And I can't read the comments while I'm doing this or else we'll be here all day, but I will come back and I will respond to your comments. So feel free to comment with questions, um, what you're going as for Halloween, what are your kids going as for Halloween? Do you need eye makeup remover? Cause that is like the best remover for all that Halloween trick-or-treating makeup. All right, now I'm coming back and I'm going to kind of, I'm brushing off. You can use a clean washcloth or a little, or a tissue, brushing off some of that purple. I'm going to go back with the cashmere haze. And I'm doing this live and for the first time. So <laughs> I'm just going right for it. Who knows if I'm even going to like this when I'm done but that's how you learn. You just kind of play with it. See what you like. I do like purples. I have green eyes. If you have green eyes, purples are great. It definitely makes the green eyes pop. Okay. So I'm going to do it. I'm just doing a little bit of cashmere haze here. I'm kind of thinking I wish that I had done more of the cashmere haze up here. So it wasn't quite so much purple because this is pretty dramatic, which I would do for like an event, but um, it is kind of a lot. So I'm going to just put that up here. Okay, so now I'm going to clean that off again a little bit with a tissue. I'll use my brush cleaner after I'm done, but the brush cleaner, you just spray it on, but it is a little bit wet. Okay. <laughs> I love this because it always looks so intense until I have my eyeliner and mascara and everything done. So it always looks like a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to do the black waterproof eyeliner on just the top. Oh, 
along the lash line. I love how easy this is to put on. It goes on so smooth. And then it just lasts all day. And no, I cannot talk and do eyeliner at the same time. All right. And then I'm not going to worry about getting it totally perfect. I'm going to do just a tiny bit, just a teeny tiny bit under the corner. And I'm going to take my smudge brush, so I'm not worried about getting it perfect. And I'm going to use that sweet, uh, uh, the Merlot again, and actually just blend that to give it a little bit of that per really pretty wine purpley color underneath okay so that defines the eye there hopefully i'm not blocking my voice my computer microphone is really picky so if you if my voice comes in and out when i move around i apologize I don't know how to fix that other than get a different computer. Um, but trying to do this into my phone screen is particularly hard. So it's just easier for stuff like this to be on my computer. Okay, so there, there's that look. And now with the mascara, and yes, it this is a dramatic look. However, those colors, I wear those colors you can wear them so many different ways. So you can have the same four eyeshadows and wear them so many different ways. In fact, right now we have that 60th anniversary palette. So pretty pinks and purples and that sparkling. It's like a mermaid color. It's called diamond and so pretty. And I have worn that palette quite a few times already. And I've done it a different way every day from just a very soft, natural pink very soft natural purple to all four colors, like more dramatic, um, lots of different application techniques that you can use for that. And now I'm using mascara. I'm using the Fanorama. That's just my go-to like everyday mascara. It's probably time to pull out a new one. I'm supposed to get a new one every two to three months. And I'm really bad about forgetting um, I should just like write it in a Sharpie on the bottom of when I get my, like when I open it, what the date is. That's a good idea. I just came live, live. You saw it happen here. Light bulb moment. I just need to get a Sharpie and write down the date I opened my mascara so that I know how old it is. Because even if you don't use it every day, you're supposed to get a new one every two to three months because they do start to dry out and grow bacteria. And so I'm usually pretty good about replacing it every three months, but I don't know. Sometimes I just forget. And all I have to do is walk down the hallway and get my mascara. Um, did you know we have a mascara club? You can actually buy three and get your fourth free or buy four and get your eye makeup remover for free. So you've got the whole year set, ready to go uh, for your mascaras. And you can get them all at once or you can just prepay and schedule to have your consultant, whether that's me or one of our amazing empowered consultants, um, get it to you in just every, like every three months, or if you want yours every two months. Okay. So I haven't done my lips yet or anything, but that is what's it called again? Whimsical something plum enchanted. So that is our plum enchanted look. It doesn't take as much time when I'm just doing it on my own but it is fun and once you get used to it you can use the same application technique with all different kinds of colors so i hope that you enjoyed it feel free to comment i'll respond to them when i get a chance i love y'all go out there and have the most blessed day Bye bye